Good morning, afternoon, or evening. My name is Ben, and this is another Game Maker tutorial. And today we're going to learn how to build a tiling, an automatic tiling system that's used in games like uh, Terraria or Starbound. And it's actually really easy, so I'm excited for this because you can kind of build your own sandbox game or whatever, or maybe turn whatever game you're doing into more of a sandbox game, which can add quite a few interesting. Uh, elements to the game. So the first thing we want to do is create a new sprite and we're going to call this sprite dirt. That's creative, right? And we're going to color it brown. What do you know? Let's uh let me change this just a little bit. And we'll color this in. And I'm going to give it uh a little bit of I don't know, maybe a texture. I'm just going to throw in some specs around in here and uh, to make this more like a look more like dirt. It's not going to be amazing pixel art, but you guys can do this how you want and make it look as good or however you want it to look. In fact, uh, it's for sure not going to be amazing pixel art, but that's okay. Okay, that's good enough for now. I'm gonna change that later. But that um, let's see, we're going to do let's do the full image for the collisions, and we're just gonna leave our origin at zero zero. And oops, we want to turn off transparent. Now we're gonna create another sprite, and we're gonna call this sprite grass. Grass. And let's make this one. Um, well, we're going to change the height here. We're going to give it a height of 6, but the width is still going to be 32. Now we're going to come into it, and let's give it a green background, well, a white background. Now let's give it, let's draw a grass in here, and I'm going to make this actually kind of colored. I feel like doing it a little more colored than I nor normally do. And this is going to be the edge, so um you'll want to have kind of kind of a little bit of a grassy look on both sides to this kind of like this so whatever works best i'm actually going to uh So you want to have two, uh, the, the middle part needs to be two pixels thick, and then the rest can kind of just be however you want it, honestly. So uh, that's how I'm going to do mine. And we do want this one to be transparent, and we're going to leave, uh, this one's origin, we're going to change, we're going to change the Y origin to three. So that's in the middle, but the X or origin is going to stay at zero. So now what we're going to do, is we're going to create a new object and we'll call this object dirt, right? And we're going to give it the sprite to our dirt and we're going to make it solid as well. Now we're going to create a draw event and this part's the kind of tricky part, but um, follow along, it's not too complicated. Uh, first, let's do a create event actually and we're going to create some variables. Four, and these variables are going to be called um, TF equals place free x y minus one. Um, so that just stands for top free, and we're going to do uh, bottom free equals place free y plus one and we're going to do right free equals in fact let's take off that whole f thing that is we don't really need that okay place free x plus one y left equals place free x minus one y 
So what we're doing is this right here checks to see if there's a block next to us. And we're just assigning that check into a variable. That way we can basically access it whenever we want just by calling this variable. So instead of having to type this every single time, we can just type t. And that makes it quite a bit easier. So let's add in some comments because it's always good to comment your code. Create the variables for checking around the block. Awesome. Now we're going to add our draw event in. And in this draw event, we're going to, uh, let's see. We're going to draw the sprite of the dirt because if you ever create a draw event, it automatically overrides the default draw event. So you have to, now you have to draw the sprite or it won't show up. So draw sprite and just do sprite index. Oh man, I don't remember all the arguments. Draw sprite. Let's see, there's a sub image. So image index and xy. Okay, image index x, y, and get rid of this. I only put that in there to uh, remind me of what arguments this takes. So, draw the dirt sprite. Awesome. I'm excited for this tutorial. This is one of my, when I figured out how to do this, I was like, that is so cool. Because it saves you so much time and can make your game look really, really nice. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to do if, uh, t so no if yeah if t so what is that checking let's remember so if we're doing if t what we're actually checking is we're checking to see if the place above us is free it would be the same thing as typing if place free x y minus 1 but we don't have to type that anymore because we assigned it to a variable and this is going to speed things up Two, three, four. Um, draw sprite. Let's do ext, and this one's gonna have. It's gonna have. You can look at the arguments down there. It's gonna have a sprite. It's going to have a sub image. It's going to have an X, a Y, an X scale, a Y scale, a rotation, a color, and an alpha. So, what we're going to do is we're going to draw this image and we're going to draw our grass image. But the nice thing is, we don't have to um, rotate it at all for this one because it's going to be the top sprite. So we're going to do sprite grass image. Uh, well, let's we don't have to do that. We can just do zero. Image index is going to be zero. The x and y position are just going to be x and y because it's the top one. Um, so we don't have to move it at all. The scale is going to be one. Uh, the x scale is going to be one. The y scale is going to be one. The rotation is going to be zero. We don't want to rotate at all. The color is going to be c white. Um, that just basically means it won't add any color to what's already there. So it'll just drop green like it already is. And then the alpha is going to be 1 because we want it to be completely visible. So uh, let's actually test this and make sure that what we have so far is working. So create a room and we'll just leave it gray for now. And we'll put in some, we'll put in some, uh, I'm going to change the snap to 32 by 32 just to make this easier to put in since that's the size of our sprite. So uh, we're going to put in some blocks and make sure that our current code is working. Because we want to make sure that this is going to work. Okay, so for, uh, the grass is not transparent. I thought we made it transparent. I must have unclicked transparent. So we want the grass to be transparent. Let's go back and see what happens again um, when I run the game. Okay, look how awesome that is already. So you can see it only draws the grass above it if there's nothing above that image, right? And look how good that looks. I mean, my sprites aren't really that great, but that still looks pretty awesome. So 
Let's go in and do it for all the other sides. You don't actually have to do it for all the other sides. Maybe you don't want it to, but I'm going to. And, uh, but we, I mean, I don't want the grass to grow on all of the sides. I only want grass on the top, but I do want the other edges to look good. So what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna actually duplicate this one and we're gonna call it Sprite. Uh, well, let's see, we can't call it Sprite Dirt, so we'll call it Sprite Dark Dirt. That's really <laughs> creative. So uh, let's actually come in here and I'm gonna grab the exact same color just by using control and then clicking on that color. So I'm gonna grab that exact same color. Hopefully it carries through into this. I don't know if it will. Yes, it did. Perfect. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna color this in brown and then I'm going to uh, make it look more like dirt and less like grass, right? And um, add in some lines, take out some other lines, you know, pixel art. Awesome, so now we've got some dark dirt, and that's just a line for that as well, so that we can draw that around the other edges of our dirt. So come back into the draw event, and we're going to do an else if statement, else if, no, we don't want an else if statement, sorry. We want this to be a different, another if statement. If uh, r, well let's do, let's, uh, yeah, let's do right. If r, Draw, in fact, just copy this whole thing right here so we don't have to type it again. I should have done that with the other part too. And now we're gonna change this. Now pay attention to these changes. First of all, we want this to be sprite dark. Dirt. I don't know how I got draw out of dark, but now um, let's think about our image. Right now, it's kind of horizontal, but we wanna draw this on the right side of the block, so we need to rotate this image. Okay, and the direction that we need to rotate this is actually going to be negative 90. So for this, this zero right here that's right before our color, we're going to do negative 90 because that will rotate it to where the new sprite will be facing to the right. Now, if you haven't dealt very much with directions in the game, basically um, your sprite is going to start out... Uh, just at a direction of zero, and zero is facing, um, zero is to the right, 90 is up, 180 is left, and 270 is down. So right now, we need to ro rotate our sprite 90 degrees to the left, and so that would be negative 90. Uh, you could also do 270, I think, but anyways, negative 90 works. So let's actually, I want to do these one at a time and we'll check each one after we do it just to make sure it works uh, and make sure it looks good because that's kind of what you've got to do. Oh, see, you can see it's not drawing it in the right spot. It's actually drawing it on the left side. Why is that? Because I forgot to move it over. So yeah, we rotated it, but it's still at that uh, position zero, 0, which is on the left side of our image. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 32 to the to the x position of this this image and that's going to move it over to the right side of the of the block. So you can see that man that looks good. Doesn't that look good? So um, we've drawn it over on the right side of the block and now we're going to do the left side. So let's copy this. Man, I, this is like one of my favorite tutorials I've ever done. Let's make this left, and instead of rotating this negative 90, now we want to rotate at 90. So we're rotating the other direction, right? And instead of adding 32 to this, we don't want to add anything to it because it's going to be on the left side. So we want it to just stay at X. Let's see what that looks like and make sure this works. And, oh crap. <laughs> so we want to change our Y position, obviously, because it's drawing it clear up, up there. Sometimes this takes just a little bit of uh, a little bit of trial and error. So let's add 32 to our Y position and see where that takes us. Perfect. So we're drawing on the left and on the right now. And man, does that look good? I can't. I'm just so excited. If you combine this with my platform tutorial, you guys are gonna have some really awesome games. Maybe I'll actually continue this tutorial and do a simple platform tutorial on top of this one. 
um, where you can kind of use them together. That's a good idea. So let's do uh, let's do the bottom one now. We'll copy this, and I'm going to put it right here. Okay. So I'm actually going to add in some comments here because draw the top grass because it'll make it easier for you guys to uh, follow along with me. Draw the bottom dirt and this one right here needs to be a B and we need to rotate this by 180 so we're rotating it all the way around and then we need to add 32 here and let me think and we need to add 30 to the 32 to the X position as well so let's draw bottom dirt this is draw right dirt and this is going to be draw left dirt now I'm going to uh, I'm going to drag this out make it bigger so if you guys need to pause right here and catch up make sure all your stuff's right um, make sure you put in the comments and have each one separate from the other one so that you know if your if your tiles are drawing in weird places you can come back and look at this section and you'll be able to easily compare your part where you draw the right side and mine where you draw the right side and you can compare that okay let's uh, make sure that all worked because <laughs> I'm not even sure the bottom one's right oh it's right but it's drawing grass so uh, I'm actually gonna change that I want it to draw dirt I mean you can have it draw grass if you want to but dark dirt I want it to draw dirt there only have grass on top kind of seems weird to have grass growing on the bottom of something I don't know so yeah so this is really awesome and I'm gonna show you one more thing here uh, well actually no I'll make another tutorial that will actually show you how to add dirt and remove dirt from this game uh, dynamically and have it automatically update the tiles as well so that'll be part two of this tutorial thank you guys for watching I really appreciate you guys' feedback and your suggestions and all of the comments and likes. It's awesome. I really love teaching these tutorials and I'm glad you guys enjoy them and that you're learning as well. So you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Oh, and uh, make sure and follow me on Facebook, like this video, follow me on Twitter. It really helps me when you guys support me that way. See you later.